A big change is in the works of the Des Moines Public Schools. In February, current superintendent, Dr. Eric Witherspoon, announced his decision to accept the superintendent position in Evanston, Illinois. The school board immediately began the process to find his replacement in time for the beginning of the next school year. To this end, the board has initiated an intensive search process, as include the hiring of nationally recognized search firm, a partnering with the Iowa Association of School Boards, and numerous avenues for public input through forums and even the district website. Channel 12 recently sat down with Des Moines School Board President Phil Rader and Iowa Association of School Board Search Consultant Laura Sands to learn more about how the search process has gone so far and where things go from here. A, a lot of steps, a lot of very important steps have taken place uh, starting within about 36 hours of Dr. Witherspoon indicating uh, that he was going to leave Des Moines for Evanston. Uh, we began right away the process of looking for a search firm, uh, a consultant that would help us uh, recruit superintendent candidates. Uh, we almost immediately went up and asked for the public's input. What sort of person do you want to uh, see as our next superintendent? What are the qualifications and the qualities that they should bring to the job? And so there's been a lot of activity starting, starting almost from day one. Um, and it's involved uh, the public at, at every step of the process uh, from hundreds of people that have been involved uh, uh, with community forums and focus groups, hundreds more that have participated in virtual focus groups uh, through the school district's website, uh, and of course even uh, appointing a number of uh, community leaders and community activists to an advisory committee. So it's been a uh, very much a, a partnership between the school board, the school district, and the entire community to uh, conduct this search. Well, thanks to the public input that we got through the focus groups and through the forums, uh, our advisory committee uh, prepared and the school board uh, prioritized a list of criteria that's really very comprehensive. And I don't think there's a person alive who would uh, expect any school district, uh, uh, including Des Moines, to find a candidate that can check off each and every single item on the list of criteria. But they hit some very important qualities that we want to see. Uh, the educational credentials, the leadership credentials, the management style. Uh, is this a person that understands the diversity of the educational needs uh, of students in Des Moines and a commitment to meeting all of those diverse needs? Uh, what kind of leader are they? Are they going to inspire the community? Are they going to articulate a clear vision uh, of where we want the school district to head? Are they going to be a statewide leader? Because that's another important criteria of whoever is the superintendent of Des Moines by the fact that we're the biggest school district in Iowa and we happen to be in the capital city of Iowa, uh, our superintendent is really a statewide leader for education and in, this, in addition to being the community's leader for education. Um, but also what kind of manager are they? Are they somebody who's accountable and takes responsibility? Do they expect the same uh, of the people that report to them as well? And are they going to run what is one of the largest employers in Iowa? What is the biggest public education system in Iowa? Are they going to run it well and effectively and, and make sure that we continue to, uh, to meet our goals and are successful? Well, the next six weeks or so are going to be very busy, very exciting, and I think at the end of the day very rewarding for the school district and the community. Um, in early May, we will uh, hear back from our search firm and learn of the five semifinalists, the five candidates that they want us as a school board to take a closer look at. We'll do that over the course of a couple of weeks. And then later in May, starting with May 22nd, we'll have three finalists uh, uh, brought to Des Moines who the public will then have a chance to put under a magnifying glass and take a closer look at. And we'll be interviewing those candidates uh, uh, by the board in public. Uh, we'll have receptions that the public will be invited at to come out and actually meet the candidates and hear from them themselves firsthand. Uh, we'll be utilizing Channel 12 uh, for a lot of this, so everybody uh, uh, from the comfort of their home can uh, can see the process and, and meet the candidates that way as well. So uh, it's, it's going to be a very, very busy and exciting uh, six weeks or so ahead of us. Um, my goal as school board president and, and the entire board's goal has been that we have a new leader on the job in place in time for the start of the next school year. And I think the way things are headed, uh, we're going to meet that goal and we're going to do it uh, in a way that brings us a very vibrant, uh, very highly qualified leader to head up the school district. But right now we're in the middle of the active recruitment phase. The superintendent search firm is looking around the country for candidates to bring back for the board to interview. And in the middle of May, they will bring back five candidates. Shortly after that, the board will publicly interview the three semifinalist candidates that they have chosen. At that time, 
there will be public receptions uh, for the candidates, and people will be able to go and meet the candidates and ask some questions and hear from them. The front page of the Des Moines Public Schools website has a link to a superintendent search page, and there you can find lots of information about what's happened with the search so far, a report on the focus groups, information about the superintendent search advisory committee, uh, the criteria the board is using to select candidates and will probably use to evaluate them as well. So that's a great place to go. And the website address is www.dmps.k12.ia.us. There are some key dates for people to remember. May 15th, 16th, and 17th are the dates that the board will be interviewing five semi-finalist candidates that the search firm brings to them. On May 22nd, 23rd, and 24th, the board will publicly conduct interviews with the three candidates they've selected uh, to go to the next step. Uh, in the evenings of May 22nd, 23rd, and 24th, the public will have the opportunity to meet those candidates and ask them questions at receptions that will be held from 5.30 to 7 in the evening at the Hall of Pride. Uh, the plan then is uh, for the board to select their final candidate, the person they want to be uh, superintendent, and in the last week of May, possibly visit their home district and hopefully selecting the superintendent by the first week of June. Then uh, that person would be on board by July 1st if everything goes according to the plan, and the superintendent, new superintendent will be here to greet parents and students when school starts next fall. As you've heard, the superintendent search process has been vigorous and inclusive taking into consideration opinions and ideas from students, parents, staff, and community members. Everyone involved in this process realizes the importance of hiring the best person possible to lead the Des Moines Public Schools into the future. Working together, we'll find a leader who will make our schools and our children the best and brightest they can be. So thank you to those of you who have been part of the search process so far. And if you haven't yet, it's not too late to get involved. Log on to the district website at www.dmps.k12 ia.us to find out more information. For Channel 12, I'm Sarah Eckstadt.